Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Todd and welcome to The Miller Method. Today we are going to be talking about your healthy diet. And a lot of times we have people who come into the lab, they're eating a good diet, it's a clean diet, um, but it still is not, it's not optimal for allowing them to achieve the weight loss results that they want to achieve. And I'm going to talk about an example of this that we saw recently. We had a 39-year-old male come into the lab. He was a regular exerciser. He was currently seeing a nutritionist, and he gave us his dietary information. He used to track his, he would track his calories normally, which is a great thing to do um, using a mobile app. We've talked about this in the past. And this is what his dietary profile consisted of. He was eating around 129 grams of protein per day, uh, about 77 grams of fat, 149 grams of carbs, with a total calorie count of 1,780 on average. And you can see he was eating about 29% of his calories from protein. His fat was a little high at about 39% and 32% of his calories from carbs. So a lot of people we know are excited about low carbohydrate diets. They tend to try and avoid carbohydrates. Um, but this gentleman had never had metabolic testing done. He had never had a body composition test done. So the dietitian that he was seeing at the time was just coming up with some general recommendations for him. Um, we did a body composition um, metabolic test and we let him see our registered dietitian who then designed a program that we thought was more, um, more applicable to what his goals were. And that consisted of 170 grams of protein, 65 grams of fat, and an average of 250 grams of carbs. So you can see that there was a significant increase in carbohydrate in the new diet, and there was also a significant increase in calories. He was now recommended to eat about 2,500 calories um, to meet his energy needs for that day. So even though the macronutrient um, composition for protein stayed the same, his overall protein went up um, and his carbohydrates uh, increased significantly and there was a decrease in fat. So what happened to his body composition? Well, we can see when he first came in, uh, he was 237 pounds, roughly 157 pounds of muscle and about 79 pounds of fat at a fat percentage of 33.6. After nine weeks on the recommended diet, his weight dropped to 235, his muscle increased to 166, and his fat went down to 69 pounds. So he had um, a new body fat of 29.3%. So let's look at these things. Let's look at these changes on a table, and we'll see that his weight loss was only 1.7 pounds, which isn't, isn't much at all. And we wouldn't really expect this because we increased his calorie intake, so, so this was normal. Um, his muscle gain, however, was nine pounds, which is huge. It's a huge muscle gain um, for a little over two months. Um, in fact, there's, there's a bunch of research that says that that muscle increase is probably um, unrealistic, uh, but we have to consider the fact that maybe his protein intake was too low to begin with. And I think that if somebody has a high protein demand and they're not getting enough, increasing that protein in conjunction with resistance exercise, which was what this guy was doing, that could lead to very large increases in muscle mass. And this is what the numbers show us. So um, I, I believe that that's true. Uh, his fat loss was almost 11 pounds, and his percent fat loss was about 4%. So this guy actually got tremendous results. And one of the things, there are two main things that I want you to remember here. If we look at the recommended daily allowance for protein that the government recommends, and the CDC, um, the CDC, I, I think, says that for men between 19 and 70 years old, uh, 56 grams of protein per day is adequate to meet, the, meet their, their protein needs. And myself, I believe that that's way too low. Most dietitians and nutritionists believe that's way too low. Um, the other thing I want to point out is that carbohydrate intake is often demonized. Carbohydrates are bad. Stay away from carbs. Eat all the, eat all the protein and all the fat you want, but stay away from carbohydrate. And we found that in this case, that strategy was not working for this person. So super caloric restrictive diets are not always great. Low carbohydrate diets are not always great. And low protein diets um, are typically not great. So um, again, rethink your diet, whether or not it's really as healthy as you think it is, or more importantly, 
is it really as effective as you think it is for losing weight? And one of the best ways to do that is, as we've said before, um, have metabolism testing done, have body composition testing done in order to determine what your lean mass is and then base your protein intakes on that lean muscle mass. Thanks. Oh, got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. I'm hot, but you